serve as project mentors, and some of them have come here. Uh, we also have some of the professors from the program. You want to say hi? We're excited that she's here. Woo! All right, so um, we also want to thank some of the family members of the GCO participants that are here. Thank you for, for being with us and, and coming all the way out here. <coughs> and we also have some people that support the selection process of GC. As you can see, this is kind of a large operation here, so we have some people that support us locally in that very important selection process. And so thank you to everybody that's here that's been a part of this program and making it happen. And so um, today we're going to be presenting to you just a few of the many amazing projects that were developed this year. We had 37 projects that were developed, ideas um, that are truly going to make a difference in their home countries. And so we're going to start off with um, some of the presentations and in between I will let you know about some of those other projects. Unfortunately, we wish that we could have you sitting down with us for an entire day for six hours <coughs> so that you can listen and get to know every single project. Um, but we are going to make sure that you hear a little bit about everyone's project and everything that's been going on for these past 12 weeks. So with that, I want to thank you once again, welcome you, we hope you enjoy this. And we're going to start with our first project, which is Cortes Estilosos with Marina Perez from Panama. And as a result, and a consequence and cause of this, we are having 
over 20,000 reports of domestic violence per year. 20,000 for such a small country. And our foundations, it's <coughs> over 300. And let me tell you that our foundation is a unique one because we are the only ones that are working and offering these services in the country. So we need to reach out more. And this is very difficult to reach out more. So we know, like, after doing all this research and now the power and awareness strategies, that we can make a positive impact in our society. <coughs> and we have discovered that the only thing we need to make this positive impact is this. Yes, this. It wasn't a mistake. This is true. We only need two dollars per person to reach out more. And I'm going to explain it. I swear I can to Georgetown. I can justify this. <laughs> I know my math. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> so, what I want to introduce you is Cortes Estilosos. It's an initiative that promotes uh, beauty salons against domestic violence. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to train beauty professionals so they can be able to detect early <coughs> symptoms of domestic violence and they know how to refer, safely refer, clients, co-workers, friends, family, to local resources and to, of course, our NGO. And why, uh, why beauty salons? Why, why these persons? Well, first, uh, they have a unique position and they, they generate this trust relationship with their client. I don't know about you, but I've been going to the same hairdresser in the past 15 years. And she's very possessive and jealous. <laughs> if I don't go her, she will know. You know, and that, and some drama will come later. The thing is that uh, it's very important because you generate this, uh, this uh, trust relationship with your client. And you have like 20 minutes and a one <coughs> conversation and you can talk about everything. About how was your day, how was the traffic, how was your work, what's happening in your house. And also it's one of the few places where a woman can go without her abuse. So how are we going to pull all this? Um, basically, we believe in the butterfly effect, the domino effect, or whatever you, can, uh, you want to call it. And we, we want volunteers. We need volunteers. We're going to train 30 volunteers. I don't know, but I think there are some crazy people like me out there that think like me. And I know I can convince them to make a positive change in their societies. So we're going to train 30 of them. So are you ready? 30 of them, each one of them trains five beauty salons. And per beauty salon are two persons. So uh, are 15 persons per, per volunteer training. This gives us 450 beauty professionals trained. So it's growing, right? It's, it's just a small click in the, in the chain, and the, in the domino chain, and everything starts happening. So if these 450 beauty professionals, let's say, they talk only, just to give a number, to 25 <coughs> clients, we'll have 11,000 women that know about domestic violence. And this is very, very important because if we are able to reach 11,000 women, this woman, oh, of course, for two dollars, sorry. <laughs> for two dollars, yes, for two dollars. If we are able to reach 11,000 women, they could change their lives, they could change their communities, they can, they can make a positive impact too. And for two dollars. <laughs> and as I told you, I don't want you to see all this. This, this is very boring. But I was to prove you that I did my math and I did my work. And what I wanted to show you is the reason why it's only two dollars is because we already have a functioning platform that costs over one hundred thousand dollars per year. And thanks to this, we are able to pull out this project that costs only twenty-two thousand dollars. And twenty-two thousand dollars divided between women and women, voila, we have two dollars each one. So, in the end, what's What's, what's the impact of this? Um, we believe in the power of information. We believe that a woman that know their rights, that know that this is not uh, their fault, that this is not natural, and they can leave, they, they will impact positively in their families, in their communities, and why not in the country? They can change their lives. And, well, I think me, myself, and a lot of you, maybe, even though you don't know it, 
you are the result of this. You're the result of awareness strategies and awareness campaigns. So you know and you're empowered and you have education and you can help others in, in this. So I would love to keep talking about Cortes y Filosos, but unfortunately we only have seven minutes and I already passed a couple of seconds. And if you want to contact me, I will be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.